What's next for personalized nutrition and Vita Mojo? I mean, in terms of where I think we'll be in 15 years, we're literally at the tip of the iceberg. So I think what's going to happen is twofold. I think as a sort of human species, we're going to figure out ways to know more and more about what we should be eating. And I also think that in the marketplace, there's going to be more and more people that are going to be able to cater for it in a very, very easy way. So I see Vita Mojo as like the ultimate disruptors for the food industry. And I think this technology will only grow. The use will only get more and more and more. Everybody is different. And the way we respond to what we eat, what we do is very individual. And so, so far, we've been helping people personalize the way they approach their nutrition habits, their exercise habits. People don't necessarily know what they need just by instinct. They can't just necessarily tell, and often it'll take many years of trial and error to find out what works most for one person. For example, if you are a long distance runner, you're gonna need a different macronutrient composition from say, someone that is a weightlifter. What we do is we provide people with icons on the side of their dishes. So it's not prohibitive. If you're a slow caffeine metabolizer, we're not gonna remove coffee from the menu. We're just going to nudge you in the right direction with icons. So if something's more beneficial for you, you'll see a green icon and it just helps you make the right choices. So for example, in my order, I know that I've got a raised need for antioxidants and certain ingredients are actually flagged with a little green DNA helix to say, hey, consider adding more of these because you've got a raised antioxidant need based on your DNA fit results. So I've just put that into action and I order more broccoli with my chicken thigh meal. So rather than receiving a set meal, People choose exactly what they want to eat and then we cook it for them. The reason why we do that is because we don't believe we should be eating a set meal. Most meals are made to hit a certain price point or to hit a certain nutritional goal, but it doesn't take into account that everyone might need different things. Personalized nutrition is only useful if it can actually be put into action in the real world in people's lives. So Vita Mojo is a great example of how we can take what's quite complicated laboratory data turn that into a nice user experience for DNA Fit users, but then actually help them put that into action. So can you explain how the integration works? So when a user's done a DNA Fit test, they just need to log into their Vita Mojo ordering system or in store and just link their accounts. So, and then every time you order, you can see there and then as you're ordering Vita Mojo, what's good for your DNA.